Hey guys, welcome back to another Next Level Lawn Care video. Today is kind of exciting. Some new things are going down and some mistakes were made. Check it out. So, if you guys watched to the end of my last video, you know that I got a new puppy. He is a Dutch Shepherd and his name is Rye. Well, he decided to come out into the garage yesterday after I installed him some nice doggy doors so that he can go outside and he crawled around in my planter boxes and matted all this grass down probably peed in it too I'm not sure the uh, blue grasses they're coming in a little better but as you can see oh he did some digging too uprooted some so we're gonna have some fixing to do a little turd I've already picked some of it out of these, but I let these get way too long without cutting them again because I was waiting on uh, some lights in the mail so that I could have better lighting in here so it didn't look so blah with the colors. And uh, I was hoping that those would show up and then the grass just kept growing, got out of hand. I let it go too long, I didn't cut it. He got in there and tore it up. So we're gonna have to give that a quick trim. And then also, thank you, a big thank you to uh, my buddy Brent at Longenuity. He uh, sent me some grass seed. This here is uh, GCI Turf Services, the uh, Cool Blue, which is a uh, fescue and bluegrass blend. And I had been wanting to get some of this to try for this, but I, I wasn't able to get a small amount. And he had some and he sent me a little bag in the mail. So that's super awesome and I really appreciate that. We're going to get that planted today as well. Um, I'm not going to make another planter box. I decided to just cheat a little bit. So that's going to be going into uh, just a little planter uh, pot. So let me get this grass trimmed up and taken care of real quick and then we'll jump into that. You know, this is the Ace High Traffic, and one thing I do want to point out about this, and I'm not sure how well this picks up on camera, there is quite a variety of color between the different types of grass that are in this. Some are much lighter green, some are darker green. Kind of unappealing to the eye compared to all the other blends. None of them have a variation like this does. Just something I thought I'd point out. All right, guys, so we got a little trim on these. They were pretty matted down, uh, way overgrown. I probably cut them. I definitely went past the one third rule on most of these. Uh, probably took 50% of the leaf blade at least off on some of these, but I 
I feel like I just had to do that to get them back to where they needed to be. They kind of got away from me there for a second. And uh, that's not what I want to be going on here. So I'm going to make an effort to get out here every, probably every other day and start trimming these now uh, back down to where they should be. Um, even these right here, these are all still at about two, two and a half inches. The tall fescues are probably a little closer to three because I cut those a little bit higher down there and uh, there's not quite as much dirt in those boxes. But I think I am going to try and give these blue grasses a little trim too. Um, they are kind of thin still, but they're just so matted down. And then from the dog walking in here, pushed some of these way down in there. So I'm going to do my best on those uh, to not damage them too much, but get a little bit of a trim on there. Um, so that hopefully those can start standing back up a little bit and develop some roots. Well guys, there they are. These were all planted just about, what is it? Three, three and a half weeks ago. They're coming up due for the uh, next round of fertilizer, which I'll probably get done. I'm gonna say I'm gonna do that next week. You should do it 21 days after uh, germination. Since the bluegrass germinated a little bit slower than everything else, I'm just going to do it all at the same time so I'm not having to mix up and then a week later mix up and then, you know, keep going back and forth. So, um, I'll probably just do it all at the same time and I'll probably get that done next week. The uh, As far as the bluegrass is coming in, this right here is the Everest and this is the SS 1100 bluegrass blend. Those both came in pretty much about even and the I would say the bewitched right here is just slightly slower but they are all three well far ahead of this uh, Scott's Kentucky Bluegrass mix which is a uh, kind of interesting the as far as colors uh, it's too early to tell on anything really plus I just cut them all uh, pretty short probably a little too short on some of them but i had to get them all maintained and back in order the tall fescues over here are looking great nice and full nice and thick on everything except for the uh, blue grasses those are all still a little thin still but the uh, rye grasses and tall fescues are looking perfect right now i'm very happy very pleased with all of those and now for the next fun part, huge shout out and thank you to uh, Brent over at Lawn Ingen Ingenuity. He sent me some GCI Turf Cool Blue grass seed. 
So we're gonna get that put into, oh, scoot back a little bit there. So we're gonna get that put into a, a little planner and uh, get it going. Of course, it's gonna be about a month behind everything else, but it'll, it'll catch up eventually and we'll get to take a look at how this uh, stacks up to the rest of the group. So same thing, going in the same exact topsoil. I don't have my knife on me. Ah. Come on. So we got that looking nice and good right there. Picking some of these sticks out. This bag seems to have a fair number more sticks in it than the last one I purchased it. And it does feel even a bit sandier too, even though it's the same brand of topsoil. Like this came from a beach or something. <laughs> All right, I think that's about good enough. Semi level there. Get our seed going in. Where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. Get our edges right, as old Pete would say. Probably a little thick in some spots, but maybe a little thin in some. So goes the joy of spreading it by hand. Just pat all that in there. Thin right through there. All right, I think that's good. Save just a little bit left in case we need to reseed over the top of that. Oh, I need to go grab a handful of uh, peat moss. I'll be right back with that. All right, guys, I don't know what happened there. The uh, camera died. I wish I could figure out why this is happening. I don't know if it's overheating or what's going on. Um, but we are going to be fertilizing this with the uh, seeding and overseeding pack from Next DIY. We've got the RGS over there and the 16212 Green Pop right here. I went ahead and measured these out using a little. Uh, syringe to get just the right amount mixed into this here watering can 
And we're just gonna apply this in here. Let that soak in and do its job. So, <clears throat> so I want to tell you guys all again, thank you for watching so much. I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. Um, I got some stickers in the mail and some of you have uh, asked me to do some sticker swaps. So I did get those sent out in the mail and uh, I appreciate your guys' support. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.